Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In this reading I'm going to channel messages from your past loved ones. A few messages have come through already this morning which I've written down here and I'll share with you in a moment. Also I've recently done a few of these re readings recently, you might have seen those on my channel. If not, please check them out as some messages may come through for some of you. They were quite successful actually, so I'm really glad some names and ancestors came through for some of you and hopefully some more may come through for you today. Also, um, due to popular demand, I'm now offering a private reading where I will channel messages from a past loved one for you. So if you're interested, please check out my shop in the description box below. You'll see all the information there. Um, Please note that it's a limited service though, due to the amount of energy and time that goes into doing these readings. So if it says sold out, please check back the next month um, and there should be some available there. Or if you'd like any other type of reading, then please check out my shop for that as well. Okay, so let's go through these messages first of all. Um, the first energy that came through strongly was Magda and I was seeing this lady with short black hair, she's Polish and she has a message for one of you which is listen to your heart. So for this is an ancestor, um, yeah I'm getting a knot in the throat so this may really touch someone who hears this message. I feel you never met Magda but she's in your heart actually. Oh, that's coming through now, randomly. Um, then I later heard artist Blighty. So you could be in the UK and you've got ancestors from Poland, you might be an artist. That strongly came through. Um, then I got Bill who was a soldier in the Second World War, he's British. I was seeing him wearing braces and he said, I love my family. Yeah, wow, I'm getting emotions come through here from Bill as I say that. I feel he never got to say that. Um, yeah, so, so he really wanted to share that message with you. Then Maria came through and I was just hearing love story, heartbreak. Um, again, I'm getting like a wartime energy there where she lost the love of her life. This is someone's grandmother and she said she's guiding you towards your destiny. So I really hope that's I'm getting shivers as I say that, that might give you shivers to hear that. Okay, then we got Fred. Um, I kept hearing in spirit and he was saying he's in spirit in his home. The place begins with a B and then he said, I've seen the young'uns. It's interesting he said young'uns, that's how I heard it. Um, so that could be the way that he spoke, you know, um, sort of slang potentially coming through. So maybe you feel Fred, if this is your ancestor, in your home or if you go to his home for example, near his home. Okay then Madeline came through and I distinctly heard the surname Fletcher. So this is quite specific obviously for someone out there. And I kept hearing died in vain, she died in vain, her family don't know what happened. And that's all I got. Um, I'm getting shivers again with this one, so I think this you know, is obviously quite specific for someone out there sending you a hug. Um, next we got Rose, and Rose is someone's mother. And she said, please tell my daughter I'm with her every day. Wow, I'm getting so many emotions coming through as I read these messages. So I'm like feeling their emotions, you know, that they want to 
share with you, you may be very emotional as well. And the initial L came through as well, so that could be your initial. And Rose is your mother who's coming through, I feel. Okay, then we had Ellen, and I was seeing her with light brown curly hair. Um, and she said she sends signs to her granddaughter at the park. So that's quite special. So you might see signs in nature, for example. Um, I'm seeing a robin now in my mind's eye. And that can be a sign your ancestor has come back to visit you. So that's quite special. Um, okay. Then I connected with a Daphne. In the USA, I distinctly heard Detroit. She said her parents are from Ireland. Her son plays American football. And then I just got randomly red blanket. So that might mean something to someone. That's all I got. Could be a memory that you have, you know, when you see a red blanket, for example, um, makes you think of Daphne um, could be yeah could be your mother coming through here. Okay, then we got Lily. Now it's quite interesting. I didn't get a lot for Lily, actually, but I just really strongly heard "Hello, Governor." <laughs> um, and you, you notice, I, hopefully, you can see this, but I've written it, you know, in sort of like the slang way, Governor. Uh, very strong, sort of feisty energy. I was getting a traveller. Then the initial C came out, so it could be your initial. Quite a flighty energy, so I couldn't really sort of pin her down for long, let's say. <laughs> That's all I got. Um, it's interesting, I'm, I'm laughing. Now, I'm not obviously laughing at you or her. It's just, she seems quite a bubbly energy for me to suddenly be laughing. Um, had a lot of fun. I'm getting there. So wonderful. Okay, then um, I heard Susan and really distinctly Peabody came through as a surname. Um, but then I was hearing that this is someone living, so you could be viewing right now. And your ancestor's called Grace. She's often with you in the kitchen and she's saying, keep baking. So that's quite wonderful as well. Okay, then the last one was Ray. that came through quite vividly. Um, and actually I could see him vividly in my mind's eye, wearing a flat cap and braces, um, white shirt, grey trousers. I was seeing a lot of birds around him as well, doves and pigeons. Well, actually, I saw pigeons around him. And then I saw him holding a dove. It's obviously a sign of peace. I'm feeling for some of you, you may see a lot of birds. And that can be a sign for you from Ray. Well, I say a lot of you. Yes, it could be for a lot of you. But for someone here who's connected to Ray, I'm feeling it's birds, pigeons, also feathers. Um, he was saying that you see signs like roses, feathers, posters and initials come through a lot. But then I was getting, you don't always see the signs. So it seems Ray here gives you quite a lot of signs as guidance um, and then randomly I got wolves come through I kept seeing a wolf so whether it's wolves as well that's a sign or there's a connection there with wolves could be your spirit animal as well okay so I really hope you can see that by the way because I'm, I'm quite aware that using white paper I have to sort of dim the light a little bit so it's not too bright. So hopefully that's come out. So I've just made it a bit brighter now, as you can see, um, now that we've finished looking at the messages. So I'm honoured to share those messages with you all. I really hope something's come through for some of you. Um, if not, 
check back another time when I do some more of these readings. So I'm going to do, like I did the last time, a little pick a card now. Um, and this will be some channel messages again from your past loved one. Okay, let's start again. I <laughs> just dropped too many cards there. Um, okay, so that one. So I'd say go with the one you're drawn to the most and that could now bring you some channel messages from a past loved one. But obviously you can listen to them all as well, it's up to you. So the first one we got Hermit. And I'm getting Virgo right away, the Hermit. You could be a Virgo, doesn't have to be. But your message here is to retreat and recharge, to be alone and meditate. I'm feeling here some of you are looking for answers. You're a bit confused at the moment, wondering what to do. So this is your guidance to retreat, pull back from other energies. Now with recharge, I'm also getting that you are a very old soul, an empath. And when you're around a lot of energies, you get very tired, um, like a headache, drained and you have to go home and be alone so the message there is you know if that happens for you be mindful of the people you're around if it's very tiring you're absorbing their energy um, you know as an empath but it's not necessarily good for you if you're always around lots of people for example a lot of you will know you know if that happens for you you could be an introvert um we've also got the third eye being highlighted there so connecting with your wisdom intuition you might get downloads come to you when you're in this energy as well when you're alone and peaceful a calm mind brings clarity that's what I'm hearing here. Yeah, a wise energy is coming through here, um, bringing you guidance with this card. Some of you may live alone as well. You just enjoy being alone. And in those moments, you might receive signs from your past loved one. So if you pick the second one, we've got drum. This is dream and journey. So first of all, with dream, I'm getting that your, your loved one gives you signs in your dreams. And it's like sometimes giving you guidance, hints. Um, with the sun and moon. Yeah, sorry, sun and moon, that way. Um, I'm feeling that, well, I'm getting emotions here. Your past loved one is a soulmate. I'm getting a lot of emotions as I say this. Um, you could be a divine feminine energy. They could be divine masculine. Twin flame soulmate potentially. And they give you signs. They come into your dreams. You feel very emotional but happy as well upon awaking. Um, they want you to keep going on your journey. Yeah, sending you a big hug because I'm getting a lot of emotions here. For some of you, you might have recently lost this loved one. A very close person. Um, yeah, it was either like a romantic partner, spouse or um, parent I'm getting here as well coming through, I'm getting Libra energy, just randomly coming through, Leo as well. You're being guided to march to the beat of your own drum. 
as well. Also with drum, I'm getting like a rhythm. This is, this is very random, the way this is coming through. A rhythm that might suddenly come to you. You might like be tapping your fingers, like that. And you're channeling that, that's coming through to you from a past loved one. Could be songs as well, but I'm really getting like a, a sort of rhythm. Um, you might just find yourself one day tapping and that's coming through to you as a message. So that's really specific there. Uh, please let us know if that resonates for you in the comments. Then we've got, um, for the third one, if you pick this one, this is Broken Arrow. The message is Embrace the Energy of Peace. So with the Broken Arrow, I'm getting something might have been cut short. Now, again, this could be this loved one who went very, very soon. Yeah, I'm getting emotions here again. Um, This, this energy, I'm getting tears come to my eye as well. This energy sends you signs a lot. Um, wow, I feel like I'm gonna cry. Um, so someone out there could be quite emotional, sending you a hug right now. Yeah, and with pace, you see some of you might feel sometimes a bit off balance, ungrounded in your energy, quite emotional as I'm feeling. Um, especially when you receive a sign, I'm getting, but I'm just getting an energy of like a broken heart here as, you know, as someone very special to you, um, you were very close with this past loved one. Um, they're often with you. That's the message I'm getting here. You might see an arrow, and that's a sign for you. So maybe after this reading you see an arrow, and you'll know that's a message from your past loved one, or a feather. I'm getting the energy of a tribe here as well, West Indian potentially, for your ancestor coming through. I just keep hearing broken dreams, like for some of you, you, this could have been a spouse, you had plans and dreams together and it was cut short. Um, so you're, you're quite emotional, I feel, when you receive these signs, but they're trying to show you they're with you and to keep going. So I really hope that some messages came through there for some of you with those cards. Now I'm gonna use this deck so I feel some healing um, is needed for some of you. Try to keep your vibration high. Um, Okay, so we're going to look at these. So first of all, we got answers within. And that's so interesting, we had the hermit um, before. I'm just going to pull that out again. There's that one. Here. Yeah, so about going within, retreating, recharging. So if that resonated for you, here are some further messages for you to go within um, you have the answers within. If you're confused and unsure about what to do, there's a decision you're making. I think I said that actually with that card. Um, you may receive a spark of inspiration that could be a sign from your past loved one here. We've also got your inner child coming through. Um, so connecting with your inner child, being in that sort of innocent vibration um, connecting with your higher self, in fact. Your higher self has the answers. I'm hearing your intuition knows more than you do. So you might want to light a candle and, you know, meditate like we had there. 
to find the answers. But you know what to do deep within your heart. Yeah, I'm getting, listen with your heart. What is it that gives you that spark of inspiration? Maybe this is about your passion, your calling, or a person there who's destined with a star. I'm getting a star also could be a sign for some of you that gives you some inspiration or light codes I'm getting here, downloads coming through strongly. It's interesting I said about keep your vibration high and we've got positive minded people. So that's very important. Your loved ones are saying here to make sure you're around positive influences, um, people who don't drain your energy. So that links again with what I said with this card about needing to retreat and recharge if some people bring your energy down, deplete you of energy. Um, you know, your soul family are out there. Be mindful of who you give your time and energy to. I'm getting your inner child coming through here again with the bubbles. So you're being guided to be playful, have fun, you know, whether it's blowing bubbles, maybe with your children um, or family or playing in the leaves, you know, really connecting with your inner child, that innocence that is often lost, in fact, and that really connects you to your higher self. Have you noticed that children are very aware um, they actually pick up on spirit as well. You might see that, you know, when they say certain things. Um, in fact, yeah, it's quite interesting. I'm seeing here past loved ones and see this child is, is seeing that energy. Wow, yeah, seeing spirit there. Um, and that's what could help your gifts enhance as well, your psychic gifts. Okay, I'm noticing 23 breaks down to a 5, and we've got a 5 here. So two numbers of change, and the message here is release. So I'm really feeling this is linked to energies in your life, or situations that you're being guided to release. Maybe negative people, negative situations that cause confusion, um, bring your energy down. And with the lightning here, I'm just feeling the divine potentially intervening. Um, if you don't make a change, they may bring you a tower moment, which is quite unexpected, whereby you release a situation that no longer serves you. So that's coming through there as well. I'm going to take one more, actually. Um, message for you all. Hopefully brings you some guidance. Okay, so we're going to take that one. Sincere relationships. Wow, it's just got shivers. So this message keeps coming through, doesn't it? Um, for a lot of you, you're, where well, you're being guided to look at relationships in your life, are they sincere? Do these people make you feel good? Or do they bring your energy down? We've got 29 breaking down to 11, so trust your intuition, your psychic gifts. That's coming through here again. I just feel as well, you're being, a lot of you have been guided towards a sincere relationship, your soul family, these positive-minded people here. Could be a love relationship, divine counterpart. Um, I do feel for some of you it's someone you're thinking about. Notice how they're both thinking, looking rather to the past, reminiscing. Soulmate, twin flame energy here coming through. And we've got a butterfly there that could be a sign for some of you of a change in this relationship. There's someone on your mind for some of you here, I feel, and so you could be thinking about your current situation, whether to stay, whether to go, 
the answers are within. And some of you are being guided to release something here as well, a situation or um, way of thinking, relationship, whatever it might be. Yeah, I'm just noticing the card here at the bottom, choice. And she's blowing bubbles, wow. <laughs> so it's like you have many different choices, uh, maybe, you know, in terms of what to do, but maybe you are at a crossroads and you're unsure, as I said, about what to do. So you've been guided to just sort of have fun, try not to be fixated on it. The answers will come to you. I'm seeing feathers there, so you might see feathers on your path from a loved one or your angel. Um, this bubble has a horse in it and hind legs, symbol of strength, um, movement. Okay, so remember you have the power to make changes um, if you're unsure. Look out for signs as well. Okay, I've got to show you the next one as well. <laughs> Strength. As I was saying that about the horse. Um, now you might see horses, could be a spirit animal. We've also got a tiger here. Obviously very strong. Wow, and there's a child here riding the tiger. So again, your inner child is coming out here. Inner strength that you have. You have that strength within. Um, but I really feel some of you are being guided here as well. So I'm going to finish with some charms now. So some extra messages, signs maybe from your past loved ones. So we've got a bird come through. So yeah, you might see birds, feathers has come out, um, obviously. Now if you see two birds, that could be a sign of a relationship, a union to come, so this sincere relationship that we had there. And you've got, yeah, you've got an angel as well. So feathers are being left on your path by your angels, definitely. I'm getting emotions here. So you might get quite emotional when you see a feather because you know it's a sign for you. It's interesting we've got the pliers. So this is linking to this release. Something you're being guided to cut out of your life, potentially, could be an addiction, a relationship, job whatever it might be for you. I'm getting shivers here as I say this. So that might touch someone in particular. We've got a safety pin. So you might come across a safety pin as a sign. Um, this is a sign you're being supported. I'm getting here. Um, again, I'm getting in a child coming through, so connecting with your inner child. Now we've got a jigsaw piece, so with that I'm getting the answers within. Again, you will find that missing piece of the puzzle if you're unsure about something. Things will fall into place. Um, you might have like a eureka moment I'm getting. You know, you'll find that light within that answer within. I feel some of you love puzzles as well, maybe jigsaws or other types of puzzles. And we've got a shoe. So with that I'm getting taking that step forward um, on your journey, your spiritual journey, making a change, going for it. Maybe for some of you, you're being guided here to go for it, that's what I'm hearing. Um, you might see some of these symbols here as well after this reading and then you'll know this was a sign for you, potentially. I'm getting jewellery as well, actually. Um, 
Yes, yeah, an item of jewellery, some of you have, which you cherish. It belonged to a past loved one. Someone out there's lost an item though. I'm getting. You're being guided to let it go. Um, if you can be in this, again back to this energy, clear your mind, the answers will come to you. It's, it's amazing how that's just come through there. Um, could be a brooch, earring, I'm getting here as well. There's someone who, wow, there's someone who's got a, okay, it's interesting how I channel fit physically, sorry everyone. Your right hip, someone's got an, a problem with the right hip. Maybe you've had surgery um, or you, you've got an issue at the moment there, physical issue. So you're being guided to check that out. Um, you have the strength to do this, so maybe you're, you're a bit reluctant to do that. So I really hope some messages have come through for some of you today. Please do let us know in the comments if you wish. It's really nice to hear from some of you um, that messages came through for you. Sending you all a big hug as well if any of you have been triggered. But I really hope some guidance has also come through in this reading. I'll try to do these again when I can, as I said. Thank you so much for watching. Sending peace of light to you all.